Hey you guys, I'm back with another pick a card reading. Tonight I'm going to be doing what makes you attractive to the opposite sex. Tonight I have four crystals for you to choose from. One, two, three, or four. Go ahead and choose whichever one your intuition is drawing you near. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading. So the messages will not resonate with everyone. Uh, Timestamps will be in the description box below. If something does resonate, please like, comment, share, and or subscribe for the energy exchange. I'll give you a minute to pick a crystal before we get started. All right, you guys, if you need more time, go ahead and pause the video and do so. And we are going to get started. So you chose this crystal. This is your reading. Angels, ancestors, and spirit guides for my people who chose the first crystal. What makes them attractive to the opposite sex? What makes them so attractive to the opposite sex? Give me four cards. A lot going on or a lot of qualities. Take that one, two more. Two more. Somebody here can be a Cancer, Aquarius, I mean, Aries, Sagittarius, uh, Leo. You could be an Aquarius as well. I feel like you guys are very goal-oriented, very passionate. You always have fun, exciting, new ideas. And you guys, it's a, like, I'm hearing, like, tough nut to crack. So maybe you guys, um, just hearing somebody can have a wrestling bitch face, but that's so attractive to the opposite sex. Someone here can have, like, um, like, white or you know lighter patch uh, patches on their skin or like a streak of white or gray hair someone finds that very attractive or many people I feel like you guys always move forward like you're always moving forward in your life queen energy Taurus Virgo Scorpio I mean Taurus Virgo Capricorn very powerful uh it's like you you don't you can't be removed from your throne like your crown does not come off yes you exude boss energy i'm hearing a lot of people lose sleep over um Things that have happened between you guys or uh, things that they want to happen. Many people are attracted to you. And I'm feeling like you intimidate quite a few people of the opposite sex. Power one. Yeah, you, I'm just getting you guys are exciting, driven, um, mysterious. Regal. Very intelligent. Someone here could have a nose ring. A mole above your lip.
somebody hear uh, some hearing something about eco jail, like slow down on the eco jail, or you was just having a conversation about some jail in your hair or something like that. Or someone can even have just recently gotten something stuck in their hair. Maybe a child doesn't have to be. I'm hearing somebody here is just like Ray Charles to the bullshit. Like people cannot ruffle your feathers. <laughs> your feathers cannot be ruffled, Kyle One. Y'all are too cool, calm, and collected for that. A lot of people want to take care of you and invest in you. And you're so independent, you don't need that. And I feel like what makes you so attractive is that you're so independent and you don't need anyone. But people want to do it anyway. I feel like the opposite sign finds it attractive that um, the same sex. So if you're a woman, men find it attractive that other women envy you. And you're just living your life. Like, you're not a bitch. You're not um, out here hurting anybody. You're just being yourself and they can see how jealous people are to you, which makes you more attractive to them. Okay, do I have anything else? Somebody here, I want to say started growing something in the garden, maybe some basil or something like that. Could be parsley, I'm hearing. Um... Someone here needs to get something off of their chest in regards to how they're feeling about another person. Let me see. Give me four of these index cards, spirit. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have for power one. I'm trying to keep these short tonight so I don't get cut off. I'm just going to take that. Those. Okay. I love your mind. Didn't I say you guys were intelligent? My karmic is watching me. So some of you can be a twin flame in this pile. And I was going to say that too. Like you have a lot of people watching you as well. Watching what you do. You're a great mom or dad. And emotionally unavailable. I feel like uh, you come off that way to a lot of people, power one. But that's that's okay. Because they are feeling you guys. And whatever you are putting out there, keep doing it. So, um, I didn't do much of this. No, I'm going to leave it right there. All right, if that resonated, please like, comment, share, subscribe for the energy exchange. I would like to thank your angels, ancestors, and spirit guides for coming and delivering those messages as well as mine. I hope you guys have a beautiful evening, and we are off to Pow 2. So if you chose this crystal, this is your reading. Angels, ancestors, and spirit guides, for my people who chose the second crystal, what makes them so attractive to the opposite sex? What makes them attractive to the opposite sex, spirit? Give me four cards. I'll take these two. First, I was hearing like tough as a bull. So somebody here can be a Taurus. I'm picking up Aries energy. Some Gemini. Um, but I'm also feeling like damsel in distress a little bit. Or there's a or there's like um you make people want to save you or something. It's something you give off. Like this loner vibe. You're like a loner.
Maybe you're really quiet. Introverts. Somebody could have been born in October. Um, October 10th. Or um, the 10th of any month. Somebody can be turning 29 in the next few days. You know how to revive relationships. You know how to bring life back into things that um, are dying. I mean, you always know how to restart, rebrand yourself. A lot of people see you as marriage material. How to? Flipped over the empress, and the emperor is out here. So yeah, that's funny. So we're gonna put that out there with that. Yeah, a lot of people see you as marriage material. You've had, um, I feel like, quite a few lovers. If you haven't, you have been in love deeply, or the people that have. Um, the few people that you have been in love or been with have fallen madly and here and dangerously in love with you, pal, too. You guys could have really nice hair, athletic, uh, athletic build. Somebody can have a tattoo on their right shoulder. Someone can be uh, born on Valentine's Day, Easter. Shit, don't give me the line. I don't know when Easter is, but <laughs> if your birthday happens to fall on Easter, I'm talking to you. Um, like you don't give up on people easily. You're very loyal, pal, too. Very sensual, nurturing. Yeah, people want to rescue you for some reason. All night long, take me away to another place. Rescue me. Save me, you save me, you save me. That Shanti song, Rescue Me. Yes. Y'all got to go listen to that. Um. Yeah, I feel like some of you, I don't feel like you break up happy homes, but you have the potential of of um, making people second guess where their heart is. And they find that so attractive, that you're so tempting, pal, too. You are just a ball of temptation. It could be a twin, opposite sex twins. Of a Gemini. Somebody here can be born June 5th. Yeah, you're a very nurturing um, presence, Pal One, Pal Two. And people want to save you. People just want to um, just take care of you. I feel like this will this is gonna be mostly women in this pile. Yeah, very sexy. Got some Scorpio energy in here. Very alluring. <sighs> Someone can have a tattoo across their back. Um, it could be blue. Some blue ink on your back. 
Somebody has uh, like laundry bags sitting in their car, procrastinating on doing laundry. So we have, my friends think I'm a fool for letting you go. So yeah, ex-lovers, their friends are like, what the fuck? How you let her get away? Because everybody wants her. You're no good for me. I feel like this is you telling that person that. Nigga, you no good for me. Secrets out. Y'all gonna know what these mean, so you interpret this how you want to. Red flags. Yeah, you attract a lot of light and dark. Your energy um, is very healing to a lot of people. Pow to. So you're gonna attract all types of people. So be careful with your energy. That's all I have for you, pal, too. If it resonated, please like, comment, share, subscribe for the Energy Exchange. I would like to thank your angels, ancestors, and spirit guys for helping me deliver those messages as well as mine. I hope you guys have a beautiful evening, and we are off to pal three. So if you chose this crystal, this is your reading. Angels, ancestors, and spirit guides for my people who chose pal three. What makes them... Attractive to the opposite sex. Why do the opposite sex defines power to be so attractive? Let's put that back. One more. Oh, okay. I'll take that. I got a Cancer Gemini cusp. So maybe like end of June. Um, June 22nd, 23rd is what I'm hearing. Don't have to be. <sighs> Pal <Power> three. <laughs> you know, I got to get up at somebody ass every read now. <laughs> no matter how good the read is supposed to be. Somebody got to catch these words. Okay. Power three. <laughs> what type of toxic shit y'all on? Because I'm seeing from this pal, like, people are attracted to y'all for y'all dark qualities. And they're most likely because they dark like this, too. I'm seeing, like, cheating, name calling, aggression, gaslighting and it's like y'all love it they love it y'all love it Ooh, lord <laughs> they find you so attractive because you toxic pal three uh i was about to say scorpio so they, uh, that could apply to a scorpio got leos libra aries sag they like the gemini's in this thing you could be, if you're a man, you're like a bad boy, and these women love it. I was going to say something about child support or court or something like that. But why wouldn't somebody like the fact that you don't take care of your kids? I'm not saying that you don't. But I'm getting the feeling here somebody is attracted to maybe somebody here. Now, this doesn't apply to everybody. It's like putting them before their children or something or before their family. So they feel this power like the opposite sex. You give the opposite sex some type of power or um, give the them the impression that they have power, even if they don't. That's weird. I feel like you're a lot of fun to be around. You make friendships really easily. Uh, people love your friendship. My ex 
extroverts. You could have, if you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. But I feel like there's a mother wound here. So men, women like that about you. They love the, whatever you're wounded by, that they, they feed off of that in some type of way. Like maybe control or, yeah, this toxic dynamic, you remind, like there's a mother, son type of weird dynamic here abusive almost and the opposite sex the women seem to like that men are struggling in their areas this is sick y'all want some sick shit pal three <laughs> what is going on now again take what resonates everything is not gonna resonate with everybody but Somebody here can be pregnant. I'm hearing somebody here has nice titties. Somebody's looking into playing chess or wants to learn how to play chess. Somebody here could see a rainbow today or tomorrow or seen one today. You can have three kids or three siblings. And I feel like if you have three siblings, you are the middle child. So it resonates, pal. Two, three, three. Justice. I feel like you guys can be a bit impulsive. Big fire sign energy. You guys are like a lot of fun, upbeat, explosive, um, life of the party. Everybody wants to party with you and socialize and just be up under you. And that's what makes you so attractive. The, the excitement of you. You're exciting, power three. But I'm getting nauseous for some reason. They like all your shadow qualities. So it seems like you attract people in areas that you need to heal. Almost. That's a good turn. Okay. In and out of relationships. Heartbreakers. But for some reason, people love it. Because they need to heal themselves too. Y'all caught up in this some type of karmic cycle and you keep attracting the same type of people I feel like a lot of people here wear masks it's like everything I named you probably are completely different on the inside you might be an introvert internally but you just put on this face like you love people but it's like hurting some people some people here are just wearing a mask they do that for the world but they don't really feel outgoing they don't feel exciting and it's weighing on them to not be who they truly are yeah let me get out of here for y'all change my mood about three Sending y'all some love and some positive energy. Some of y'all don't even know that you need it. Let me shut up. <laughs> I feel like a lot of y'all got attitude right now. What I'm saying. If it don't apply, let it fly. But that's the that's, that's the vibe I'm picking up from y'all. Power three. I didn't get this from one or two, but I'm getting it from y'all. I love your mind. You guys interpret these how you see fit. You have haters. If they only knew. 
telepathic communication and unblock me. So yeah, if that resonated, please like, comment, share, subscribe for the energy exchange. I would like to thank your angels, ancestors, and spirit guides for helping me deliver those messages. I would like to thank mine as well. I hope you guys have a beautiful evening. Until next time. And we are off to... What are we off to? Power four. So, if you chose this crystal, this is your reading. I need four cards, spirit, angels, ancestors, spirit, guys. I need four cards. Why does uh, the opposite sex find powerful, powerful, so attractive? What makes powerful attractive to the opposite sex spirits? I'm getting the vibe that you guys, a lot of you, like you have this innocent presence about you <clears throat> and people hate that. They talk about that. They make up lies. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people talk about you and that's attractive because people who know you, the opposite sex is like, I know this person ain't a hoe. That it could be because they ride past your goddamn house, so they clocking you. But I don't know for sure. But they like I know that this person isn't like the gossip that I'm hearing about this person. Um, and it's like you're unaffected by it. I don't know whether you know people are gossiping about you or you just don't care. You're just living your life and you're like whatever. But that is very attractive to the opposite sex that you don't get involved in the the day to day bullshit and drama and um it's a word I'm looking for alright skip that I feel like you guys are very spiritual or you have this spiritual this essence about you is something very spiritual. You have this glow. It's like you're from another planet. I'm hearing some guys, some some of you guys, or some guys, if I'm talking to the women, like say that you're like from Mars or, you know, call you an alien. People might say you're weird. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Any earth and um, air cusp sign. Gemini, Taurus. Who else? Um, Capricorn, Aquarius. Cusp. You are not affected by society. The pressures of society don't affect you. You're so graceful. Oh my gosh. You guys are giving like mother nature. Like <laughs> You guys are very graceful. It's very motherly. I'm getting like... Like, like you guys give good hugs or something. And you smell good. Mm, and you know how to cook. And very good hostess or host. Let's clarify this. Um... 
You guys will block out anything that's disturbing your peace. People cannot forget you. They don't. You are unforgettable, powerful. I'm hearing you give wet dreams. lot of haters they came out in pal three but i thought she was gonna come out in this one too you just let shit go you i'm not saying you do it and it's an easy thing to do i'm just saying you make everything look so easy everything you do is effortless big taurus energy somebody can have like a long tan coat Someone likes to fish. You can have like an old suitcase um, in an attic or a basement. For some of you, you need to go through that suitcase in here. Something you've been looking for that you're going to find or something like that. You guys are powerful. And I like... People want to be like you. Very goddess-like. Oh, I'm getting hot. <laughs> Y'all making me blush powerful. I hope this is my power. Yeah, I'm going to leave it right there. Let's do some index cards. Mm -hmm. I'm in the presence of royalty. Just shuffle one more time and then take them off the top. Okay. So we have You're So Beautiful. Friends with benefits. You guys can interpret these however you see fit. I love you and I dream about you. Didn't I say wet dreams? Yes. Okay, so I hope that resonated for someone. If it did, please like, comment, share, and or subscribe for the Energy Exchange. I would like to thank your angels, ancestors, and spirit guides, as well as mine, for helping me deliver those messages. Um, I hope you guys come back. I hope you have a great evening. Until next time.